I wonder if Anthony Albanese is looking even more closely now at an early election for safety's sake. Now, we've already had Anthony Albanese reshuffle his ministry. That was on Sunday to hide a couple of the obvious failures, Immigration Minister, Home Affairs Minister, and he put firemen like Tony Burke in the hotspots to deflect, you know, criticism. Today, this inflation figure, that might give Albanese another reason to go earlier rather than later. Yes, the inflation figure was higher, but not so high that the Reserve Bank will raise interest rates next week. That's my guess. But after that, as Terry McCran was saying, who knows? The Reserve Bank could actually, well, it might cut interest rates before Christmas, but it could also either instead raise them, raise them if inflation doesn't come down soon. And if it did that, I suspect that would kill this government at the election. Join me as the political panel on a Wednesday. Michael Costa, former New South Wales Labor Treasurer, and Cameron Milner, former Chief of Staff to Labor Leader Bill Shorten, now Director of GXO Strategies. If you've got a fire you want put out, go to Cameron. Um, Michael, there's definitely a sense to me that this government is getting ready to go early if there's a good reason to. Is the fear of a hike in interest rates before Christmas that reason to go early? Oh, I think they um, should go early, to be honest, uh, to maximise their political advantage. I don't say that as somebody that necessarily wants to see them return with the current set of policies, but um, let's remember what's happened here. They've, they've put a budget that's basically failed. The only part of that budget that... Um, has been relatively successful was um, the one the Treasurer highlighted today. That is that that inflation figure would have been a half a percent worse um, if um, they hadn't have taken those measures. But as we know, the Reserve Bank's going to look through those measures. That, that's the um, energy measure and the um, rental assistance measure I'm talking about. So I think they're in a position where the Reserve Bank, certainly I, I can't see them cutting interest rates uh, this year. I think they've taken a very timid strategy of trying to drag this out as long as possible. Part of that's due to the fact that the government changed the uh, Reserve Bank's mandate and put um, employment as a, uh, a more important consideration that was in the past. And I think that's um, affected the, the Reserve Bank and made it a little bit more timid. I think they're best option is to go soon. I think the reshuffle points to them thinking about that. I think today's figure was, in a sense, a relief. It could have been worse. But the underlying figure was only marginally better. I know um, the Treasurer is running around saying how good it was. But the overall figure was um, obviously high. So, you know, if I was one of their strategists, I'd be saying as soon as we can get a position where it's to our advantage before the end of the year, I'd be going because who knows what's going to happen next year. Most of this inflation, let's be clear, is uh, internally driven. And uh, as you said with Terry McCran, there's about $40 billion worth of additional spending that's going to come into the system over the next uh, quarter and beyond. So, yes, I think I would be planning to go as soon as I could. Well, you've been one of those strategists, Cameron, a Labor strategist. Uh, what would you expect? I think Albo's looking for every excuse to go to the polls as quickly as possible because crumbling below him are all these primary numbers. Crumbling below him is the electoral support around cost of living because people are actually finding it harder and harder. I mean, rents are up, petrol's up, f fresh food and groceries are up. Uh, that can only get worse for Labor, uh, Andrew. So I think Albo's cleared the decks with a reshuffle and will go to the polls as soon as he possibly can on the thinnest of excuses uh, because, remember, this guy took the voice vote from 60-40 in favour to 60-40 against in sh six short months. So he's not a great campaigner. Uh, so he'll want to go as quickly as he humanly can. Andrew?